Hello, this is part two of the video. And in this part, we will be using a kit to seamlessly import our parts into our CAD drivetrain. If you haven't watched the first video, I strongly suggest you watch it. It is very important to this video. So in the first video, we imported it each cart each part directly into into our on shape. But now we have created a folder with every single document of our parts. Flat brackets, gears, wheels, literally everything you can need in a Tetrix kit that we can use anytime we need to create a prototype, a CAD, anything. So now we can eat insert, we can go into other documents, navigate to our Tetrix kit of parts, and we will need a, usually you get the preview so you can easily see what you need, but I am pretty sure we need a motor mount to mount the motors. Motor mount. We found the motor mount. Okay, and there's no assembly, so we know it's a part. Insert it in. Perfect. So as you can see, we've just used our kit of parts. We found the part. It is all organized in our on shape. It's very easy to see. You can even do other um, folders, rev kit of parts, go build a kit of parts and have it at ease for any CAD you want to do. So we have our motor mount that we've just imported from the Tetrix Kit Apart folder with all of our files in the Tetrix Kit Apart. And we know it's a part studio, so if we drag it, it will stay all the same because there's no individual parts that make this up. It is just a piece, some material that's been CNC'd at the Pitsco factory doesn't matter though and we can we don't need to group it since it's all the same there's it's all one thing no assembly as I've just said so we can control C then we can control V um, control V again control V again and now we have our four motor mounts that we just imported from a kit much much faster than importing each part the mechanism wheel the motor the c channel one by one when we could all we could just import the c channel and the motor mount and then the wheel and the rev kit all from two folders the rev robotics kit folder and a tetrix kit folder it's much faster so i highly su suggest you do this if you have the storage if you're using like a local storage like solidworks i think I think that is local or something else or you don't have a lot of space on your computer you might just want to download the individual part but I know for most people this is probably easier because this did not take up much room on my computer and you only need to download it like twice if you're using two kits for your robot and now we can just do some CAD I'll just do an example so like my fasten mate Perfect. Just put it on the hole. This is just basic CAD. This is not the video to learn CAD. This is about importing in to CAD and starting CAD. Um, okay, we'll just do this a couple more times. And this is basic CAD once again. This is probably not the best CAD because we have our motors on the very outside. So you might want to. Oh, that was not good. Okay, perfect. Sorry for my slow catting skills. I'm not the best catter because I am a programmer 
and there will be some tutorials soon for some coding, Roadrunner, OpenCV, anything. But put it down in the comments what tutorials you would like to see in the future, as this is the first tutorial in our installment of learning series and tutorials. So stay tuned and subscribe. But this is not the end of the video, so don't get tricked. I will probably just cut the rest of this out or fast forward it and put in some Jeopardy music.